Creating actions. We've already learned how to make a basic scene with content, but the real beauty of Touch Creator is the unlimited possibilities for multi-touch interaction. Let's learn how to set up a few actions for the scene that we've already created. To make it even easier to focus on one video at a time, we can set the media player to change size and move it to the center of the scene when you click it, and also to have the other media players blend out. To achieve the effect, we'll do the following. Go to the Actions panel. Add a new action. From the list of available actions, we'll choose Hide because we want to hide one of the media players with this action. Now we have to set the basic parameters of the action. First, we'll choose the event. This is the touch event that will trigger the action. As you can see, there's a long list of events to choose from, each one of them representing a different touch interaction that is capable of triggering an event. For this example, we'll choose Click, since our action should be triggered when we click on the media player. Now we'll need to choose a receiver. This is the component that receives or performs the action, in this case, Hide. Select the media player that should hide as a receiver. Add a second hide action with the other media player as a receiver. Let's test it. This is the basic workflow for adding any action. Since you have many actions, events and components to choose from, you can see that the potential for unique multi-touch interaction is vast. Let's create another action. Now we will add an action that scales the player 200% and moves it to the center of the scenario. Add a style action. Set the event to click. In this case, the receiver of the action is the media player component itself. We will trigger the scale style that already has been added to the media player. Just enter this name into the appropriate field. Now choose Enable to set the style when the media player is clicked. Click on the media player to trigger the action. Now we'll add a button that resets the media players. Add a button component. Add a reset action with a layer that groups our three media players as one receiver and check Send to Children. This will transfer the action to all child components. Child components are located under their parent components in the hierarchy and you can see this in the Scene Manager. Let's change the texture of the button for default and press State. Let's say we want to use the whole scene we've created again with different assets. For this purpose, we can create a template from our existing scene. Before we do that, let's put everything in a layer so we have all the components grouped for the template. Now right-click on the layer and Create Template. This creates a template which is immediately visible in the library under the Templates tab. Simply drag and drop the template into the scene to create a copy of our initial scenario. Let's hide it so the two scenarios don't interfere with one another. We'll also need to rename the second scenario
and change the background image. To switch between the two parts, we'll add a global button. This will show one layer and hide the other. The easiest way to do that is by using a toggle visibility action. Let's add two of these actions with the layers as receivers. Now we'll change the texture when the button was clicked. It will show the icon for the scenario that will be shown on click. We want to toggle the texture with every click, so select Toggle for the style action. We can add a 3D effect by using the Rotate 3D in the Advanced Properties. Now we only need to exchange the assets for the new media players, do some repositioning, and that's it. Touch Creator is a powerful tool for creating multi-touch interaction and scenarios. There are plenty of opportunities for creativity and the number of possible configurations is practically limitless. We encourage you to experiment and try new things out as you go. Only your imagination is the limit. Enjoy using Touch Creator as much as we do.